I've just got back from the pub. God, people are bloody stupid in this country. Not just this country, the whole world, in fact. Do you know if you were to round up everyone in the world and make them do a intelligence test, the people with the highest IQs would, of course, be the minority. That's not exactly uh, news, but um, the fact is, most people are bloody stupid. Take all this climate change crap that's going around. Everyone who believes it, who very violently believes it, in fact, when you actually ask them any simple questions, they haven't got any answers. A simple one I proved tonight was asking someone who believed it. Very simple question, in fact. Greenhouse gases, good or bad? His answer was bad. I said, OK. So, in your perfect world, would you eradicate greenhouse gases? He said, of course I would. It just goes to show how stupid people are. And of course, if you're listening to this and thinking, well, yes, I would as well, then you're equally stupid. Because greenhouse gases are actually helping, well, not only helping, but are completely responsible for the fact that there is life on this planet. If there wasn't any greenhouse gases, there would be no life. Everything. No people, no plants, no animals, nothing. Everything would be extinct. In fact, we've never got this far. They actually discovered greenhouse gases back in 1823, I think it was. You know, back in the days when science really meant science, they were fighting against religion. But they still found time to do some proper work and work things out for themselves. Not anymore. That's, uh, that sort of stuff is long gone. By the way, I am drunk, but I still know common sense when I see it. The fact is, everyone thinks that this planet is warmed by the sun. Yes, it is, kind of. We receive light from the sun. The light we see, it's visible light, white light. It not only warms the surface, but it also allows us to see. If you touch a rock or a sheet of metal that's been laying in the sun for some time, it's warm. Sometimes it's bloody warm or bloody boiling. Likewise, stick your arm out of the car door in a sunny day, you can feel the heat on your arm. That's because white light that comes from the sun is absorbed by the surface. Not all of it, they estimate that 28%, why 28%, I don't know if it's just an estimate, it might as well round up to 30, is reflected from the planet's surface and just drifts off back into space. But the important thing is, the heat that comes from the sun does not actually warm the planet sufficiently to allow us to live. Au contraire. Having warmed the planet's surface, our surface then emits infrared, which of course we can't see, and that goes up in the process, warming the air around us and allowing us to exist, but still not sufficiently. Then this infrared goes into the greenhouse gases, which are in our upper atmosphere, and are prevented from leaving initially. They are absorbed by the greenhouse gas. And these greenhouse gases react with other gases in the upper atmosphere, spreading this infrared light from molecular point of view, from one molecule of gas to another. And of course these infrared light then either come down or go up harmlessly into space. It's these infrared lights that are coming down, having already gone up from the surface, that warms the planet. Now there's the big problem. People think greenhouse gases are bad. Get rid of greenhouse gases and everyone will be happy. No, greenhouse gases make life on this planet possible. They allow us to exist. But there's another point. They are saying, ah, there's your problem, young hairy chestnuts. The uh, greenhouse gases are being increased thanks to man-made interference. Well, firstly, we don't know 
how much greenhouse gas is up there. It's impossible to measure. It's like trying to count grains of sand on a beach. What are the parameters of the beach and how do you count them without taking them away from the beach and then causing the sea to come in and bring more grains of sand? So basically we don't know how many or what is the quantity of greenhouse gas and therefore we can only estimate what that quantity is. And if we don't know what the quantity is, we cannot tell in any scientific measure how much of that greenhouse gas was contributed by us. We can only guess. But more importantly is the fundamental flaw in their logic. If you increase greenhouse gas, you will therefore increase heat. Hmm. Right. Where does that heat come from? The infrared that is given off by the planet's surface. So the greenhouse gases cannot reflect back more heat than they receive. And since our planet does not give off too much heat, they can't possibly boil us to a crisp. Now, the simple fact is, they're talking out their bollocks, if that's possible. <laughs>